Good morning and welcome back to the channel. As you know, I'm Pastor Emeritus Reverend Ron L. Spratley of Covenant of Grace Ministries. Here at Covenant of Grace Ministries, our value proposition is renewing minds and transforming lives with spiritual solutions to worldly problems. We thank you for joining us once again. We're going to go right into our teaching today. We're in this eschatology series, The Doctrine of Last Things. And we're talking about renewed minds and attitudes through transcendent constructs. We've given you a definition of the Holy Bible, transcendent constructs and spiritual beliefs beyond or above the range of our physical senses. We want to rise above. We still use our physical senses, but we rise above our physical senses, are mere human experience. It's a concept that exists not in physical reality, but as a result of spiritual truth. Change your current reality. Well, you want to know, Pastor, how do I change my current reality? I can change my current reality. Spiritual truth can change facts. So we're going to recap the first four Transcendent constructs, we've been on the topic of physical death. We're trying to change the way we think. We're trying to change our attitude around physical death through the teaching of the Bible, through the Holy Bible. We've established four things in the first part of this. We said that this, the duration of physical life was in God's hand. We've shown you all of these things through the scriptures. We've told you physical death brings intimate communion with God in Christ. Number three, we share with you physical death brings rest and peace for the believer. And number four, we told you the physical death drives the believer to God who has power over physical death. Number five here today, we're going to talk about physical death teaches us to live physical life wisely. Our main scripture is going to be Psalms 90 and 12. It says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. So let's break this scripture down. Teach us to make the most of our time. Okay. Teach us to give account of my time. Your time is very valuable. You've got to understand how you allocate your time. Our second bullet point, proper use of our time will cause us to grow in wisdom. You can't grow in wisdom if you misallocate your time constantly every day. We need to make the proper use of our time. How we manage our time will affect your mind, your mindset, it will affect your attitude because it determines what goes into your mind, all right? Wisdom is the proper application of Bible knowledge, right? That's what it is, the proper application of Bible knowledge, all right? Let's go ahead. In this life, I've seen old fools and wise young men based on the allocation what of their time so you can be an old fool because you misallocated your time or you could be a wise young man okay because you allocated your time correctly got it all right let's move on there is an abundance of misallocated time and attention all right an abundance of misallocated time and attention on the earth. We've got to stop misallocating our time and our attention. All right, as we close out with our key principle, we're going to look at James 4, 13 through 15. Go to now, you say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and we continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow right? But what is your life? It is even what? A vapor that apparent that is a, a period for what? A little time and then what? Vanishes away. But here's what we ought to say. Here's what you ought to say. If the Lord's will, we shall live 
and do this or that. If I follow God's will, I'm going to always be in his plan. So I can't do the things and go in a direction and have the plan I want to have. I need to consult God. I need to find his perfect will. And I should be saying, if it's the Lord's will, this is what I'm going to do. So let him lead us and guide us. Let him be shepherd in this life. And then we will allocate our time and attention correctly. Proper manage our time. We will grow in wisdom. I want to again thank you for the time you've spent on this channel. We're all about renewing minds and transforming lives with spiritual solutions to worldly problems. God bless you until we have an opportunity to bring you another word into the future. Thank you very much.